Hi, I'm Freek van der Herten. I'm a developer at a Belgian company called Spasi. And these past few months, I've been working on a new package called Laravel Event Projector. In this video, I'd like to give you a very small taste of what this package has to offer. I've already created a demo application, which we are going to use in this video. Let's go to the database of this application. Now you should imagine that uh, you are a bank and you hold accounts for all your clients. A client has a, has a name, has an email address, and for each account, we are going to store the balance. Now in a traditional application, you would just uh, store and update this number. But just storing this, uh, this number has a, a downside. You don't know how we arrived at this balance and you don't know what the balance uh, was uh, in the past unless you've uh, created some, some kind of history table. Now in the uh, event source application, you would store all the events that uh, happen on, uh, on a given account in a, a, a table or some kind of storage of its own. Our Laravel event projector package offers this stored events table. Let's take a look at what's inside here. Here we have all the events that have happened in uh, our application. I've already seeded uh, this application uh, before I recorded this video with, uh, with some sample data. So you can see here that we have an event uh, for when an account was created. It holds, uh, that event holds uh, certain, uh, sort, certain properties. Like you see here, it's for a certain uh, client, for a certain email, it's for a certain UI ID. We have a money uh, added event, we have a money subtracted event, uh, and so on. Now, using uh, these events, we can recreate the entire accounts table if we want to. Let me prove that to you. If we were to just outright delete all the accounts in a traditional application, yeah, you would just scream. But now we can use the stored events to just rebuild uh, this whole table. Let's do that now. Let's go to PHP Storm. Um, to, uh, to the code of, uh, of this application and we are going to rebuild that entire table. We are going to rebuild that using what we call a projector. A projector is a class uh, that um, gets past all the stored events and it can react to those stored events. So this account balance projector uh, you can see that it implements projector. So for our package, it is in fact a projector. Um, and it can handle certain events. Um, when it gets an account created event, it will perform this function on account created. What will it do on that event? It will get the uh, account attributes of that event and it will create an account with it. Very simple. If it gets a money added event, it will execute the on, men, on money added uh, function. And you can see that it will look up uh, the uh, uh, account model uh, for the UID of, of the event. And it will add the amount that we have in the event to the balance of the account and save it. And for the other events, it's more or less the same thing. Now we can uh, pass all the uh, events to that projector by rebuilding uh, that projector. Let's do that now. PHP artisan event projector uh, rebuild. And we are sure that we are going to rebuild all the projectors. And now the package will pass all the stored events to this class and this class will in turn recreate that whole accounts table. Let's take a look at the accounts table here and sure enough everything's back. Now if a new event uh, 
were to come in, then the accounts table will be updated as well. Let's do that now for that uh, first uh, account here. Let me copy the UID. Let's go back to uh, PHP Storm. Uh, let's uh, remember this balance, 3,164. Um, let's open up a Tinker session, Tinker, and let's send out a new event, new uh, money audits. The first property is the UID. The second one is the amount that should be added. A little typo there. Two brackets. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We fired up the event and our package will make sure that this 3000, if I refresh it, is now 4000. And if we took a look at the stored events, you can see that the event is in fact stored. Now there's another benefit of uh, storing all the events and that is that you can derive some new data after the fact. Imagine for instance that the bank now needs to know how many uh, transactions um, there were in the past for, uh, for, for the accounts. So for a given account, how many times was their money added or subtracted uh, to and from it? Now, if you were only to store it in a traditional way, you would have no, uh, no way of knowing that. Uh, certainly not, not, uh, not after the fact. But because we have the stored events, we can derive that, uh, that report of transactions count very easily. We just need another projector. So let's uh, take a look at another projector I've prepared, namely the transaction count projector. And here you can see that it's just a projector. It handles certain events. When money was added to it, we are going to call the onMoney added function. When money was subtracted, we are going to call the onMoney subtracted function. Um, if the onMoney added function is executed, we are uh, going to take a look at for which account uh, this event was. We are going to create a transaction count uh, record for it, and we are uh, going to uh, add one to the transaction counter. And for on money subtracted, we are just going to do the same thing. Now, to make the, the package understand uh, that this projector exists, we must uh, register it in the service provider. So let me uncomment that transaction count projector. And if you want to pass all the events to this new projector, we can just replay all the events. Let's do that now. PHP Artisan uh, Event Projector um, Replay. And now it will replay. Oh, I forgot to uh, migrate the database. Let's do that now. Uh, migrate. And now we, in fact, have a table where we can put those transaction counts in. So now we can replay all the, uh, the events. So let's do that now. PHP Artisan Event Projector Replay. And you can see all the events are now passed to the transaction count projector. And if I go to the database now and refresh it, you can see that this account has this many transactions and so on. So we've derived some, uh, some data from uh, our stored events table. Um, now, this video is merely a very short introduction into uh, the package. It can do a whole lot more. Uh, I did my best in documenting it all. So if you want to know more about it, you can go to our documentation site and uh, read more about it. The demo application that you've shown is also available on, uh, on GitHub. It's in, uh, in, this, uh, in this repo. The uh, source code of the event uh, projector package itself is in uh, this uh, repository. If you have any questions about it, just uh, create an issue on the issue tracker. Okay, 
I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little tour of uh, the package. <laughs>